this example of the single story, single bay portal frame, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 kip lateral load, 3 kip per foot gravity load, and um, beam that has 800 inches to the fourth for its second moment of area, columns that are identical at 600 inches to the fourth. We've looked at in, in other videos about how to approximate what the behavior of this system would be. And this video just takes you through a summary of that. And that is that if we assume the inflection points for the uh, lateral load, say at the midpoints of the columns, assume something about the relative stiffnesses of the beams, we end up with certain then reactions down at the base. For the gravity loads, we assume the one-tenth rule. So one-tenth of 10 feet was the one foot, put the inflection point in there, and then went about doing the rest of our work about what would happen. Um, that involved also uh, recognizing that the column was um, such about what, well, excuse me, th that the column had um, no sway in it for the gravity load only, and that the uh, we could treat that column as a, a prop cantilever with a roller up at the top with an applied moment fixed in at the bottom. That actually meant when we did that about the, the relationship between the, the end moments turned out that um, the inflection point was at the one-third, two-thirds location that went along with our two-to-one ratio of the end moments. So that's something also that we could uh, consider using later on, sort of a one-third rule for certain kinds of situations uh, for the columns that go along with this one-tenth rule for the beams. Put that all together, what that ended up being for us then with the combination of gravity load and the lateral load were the moments that you see uh, that resulted down here at the bottom in the shears that ended up ultimately not being distributed completely e equally uh, because of the gravity load effects that um, were added in there. Right? And so what we'll do then in a different series of videos is that we'll go through this um, an exact approach to this.